Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Real United States. I'm your host, Paul Campbell, and as always, behind the camera is our cinematographer, my wife, Beverly Campbell. We're here in St. Ignis, Michigan, on the northern shore of the Straits of Mackinac, in the upper peninsula of the state of Michigan, at the Father Marquette Memorial. This is a nice little park here in St. Ignis, and this is, in fact, the final resting place of a very historic figure here in the United States, and especially in the state of Michigan, Father Jacques Marquette. Now, you may have seen in a previous episode where we visited the place where Marquette passed away in 1675 in May and was buried there. There's a large cross on a hill erected where they believe his original burial site was. But two years later, the Native American people found the site. They unearthed Father Marquette's bones, washed them, wrapped them, as was the custom, and carried them by birch bark canoe some 200 miles or so from Ludington, Michigan, up here to the mission at St. Ignace. Now, there was a mission originally founded across the straits here on Mackinac Island, but was moved in 1671 here to St. Ignace. And this is where Father Marquette's home base was. Marquette played a huge role in the development of trade, in the development of relations with the native people in the late 17th century. So this is kind of a special opportunity for us to get here and see where he is finally laid to rest. Now it's a relatively small park, nice, very well kept. It's probably no more than 100 feet wide and 300 feet long, but it's very well kept up. And you can see they built this beautiful arch to it and everything out of concrete and very nicely landscaped with flowers growing and stuff. We've got a beautiful sunny day here in St. Ignace. And so now we're gonna take you in and show you this, this small park where Father Marquette's grave is. Now Marquette is in fact the only person this is buried here. This is entirely his memorial. So come on in and let's take a look. Now, as is the custom in historic sites, there's a large cast iron historic marker here talking about the establishment of the St. Ignace Mission, which was the European establishment in the late 17th century in this area. That was pretty much it when they first came here. And this area was largely settled by the French originally. Later, the English came in and took over this area from the French, but originally this was a French settlement, and so there's a lot of that culture in this area to this day. They have beautiful stone walkways here that they've maintained very well, which is kind of interesting given the climate here. It's a very harsh climate. We're up around 46, 46 and a half degrees north latitude. The winters here are very harsh. So the fact that they've made, managed to maintain this so well is a testament to the devotion that the people of St. Ignace have for Father Marquette. Right in the center of the park here, there's a beautiful fountain that's been erected. And one of the things that I wanted to point out to my viewers is that in fountains, often people come and toss in a coin or two coins and make a wish. Uh, it's a throwback to an old tradition about wishing wells. And to this day, you'll find in most public fountains that there's coins that people have thrown into the, to the water and made a wish, hoping for something good, obviously. And then periodically on these fountains, people will collect, the, the people who maintain the park will collect the coins and use those to help defer the cost of the maintenance of the fountain or the maintenance of the park. So I don't know if this is a tradition that's practiced every place in the world. I imagine in many places it is. I'd certainly love to hear from you if in your part of the world people actually toss coins into fountains to make a wish. That would be interesting here. Leave us a comment in the comment section below. Maybe use the hashtag wish to let me know that you've, uh, you've left that comment. And I'll try to get back to everybody, but there's a few coins in here, but this has been cleaned out recently. So there's not, there's not many coins in here. I don't know what kind of a cycle of maintenance they have on this, 
but you can see there are a few pennies. In fact, sometimes people use quarters, nickels, dimes, whatever coins. Maybe even people who visit from foreign nations have tossed in whatever currency they have. A few kopechnics maybe, I don't know. But it's, it's just kind of a nice tradition people enjoy doing. So now we're gonna take you to the real highlight of this memorial park, and that is the actual grave site of Father Jacques Marquette. It's over here in the corner, nicely shaded. It's a beautiful, peaceful setting. Now you can see from the, again, the cast iron historical placard here off to my left, that this was erected in 1882. So Marquette has been honored by the people of the state of Michigan and certainly by the city of St. Ignace for a very long time. He was an incredibly important historic figure here. And I have to admit there's I don't know, there's something very special about standing here at the foot of Father Marquette's grave. And this, in fact, is where he is interred underneath this monument. I believe this monument's made out of marble. And there is an inscription to him, which is written, of course, in Latin. Father Marquette was a Jesuit priest, so Latin would have been one of the things he would have learned even as a boy. Fortunately, they've installed a translation plaque in bronze down here below that says, in memory of Reverend Father James Marquette, Society of the Jesuits, who died the 18th of May at the age of 38 and was buried in this grave. And uh, then they give the date, which is written in Roman numerals. And of course it was 1877. This monument was raised by the citizens of St. Ignace. And again, they give the date, which is of course 1882. It's a beautiful monument. Again, it's a very, very peaceful setting. It's beautiful the way the trees here that weren't here, I'm sure in 1882, but have been planted and maintained it's a very, very nice final resting place for a very important figure here in American history. There's even some lilacs growing, a large lilac tree off here. If we could swing around and take a look at that. This, it's uh, June right now, so the lilacs in this part of the state are just now coming into bloom, a little later than normal due to the very long, hard winter we had. Now this is a, a nice place also in the respect that people can come here who want to learn a little bit about Father Marquette and his contributions to the United States, to our development, our colonial period, and to the state of Michigan. They have a kiosk here with placards, with information about Marquette's life, about his journey, about his explorations down to discover the first European to make it to the Mississippi River Basin. And this was probably one of his most historically notable accomplishments. Marquette wasn't so interested really in discovering the Mississippi as he was in, of course, carrying the word of God to the Native American people because he was, after all, a priest, a Jesuit. This. Um, small fence. I wanted to point out something here. If we could back up a little, is uh, just sort of a, a, to mark off the area. He's actually buried there. But on the very front of these columns, you will see an insignia. And this insignia is in fact the insignia of the Jesuits. So they've actually cast that right into these, these columns. 
They've gone to a great deal of detail to make this a very nice setting for Father Marquette. Now this is the kiosk I was talking about that has placards with the information about the life and the important events in Father Marquette's life. Interestingly enough, it's believed that this is an actual picture of Marquette, but nobody is really certain of what Father Marquette may have looked like. There are a number of paintings of him and there are pictures that they think may have been him, but the historical record doesn't have any definitive paintings or drawings of what Father Marquette looked like. A lot of it is still very speculative. But these, this particular picture is a famous uh, drawing, painting of Father, what they believe Father Marquette looked like. So again, this is a very nice opportunity not to, only to come and pay your respects perhaps for Father Marquette, very peaceful park, but it's also a nice learning experience for anyone that's interested in the history of that particular period in America. And each one of these, this is a, a hexagonal, a six-sided kiosk. And Marquette made peace with a lot of the native peoples. Um, all the names don't spring to mind, the Potawatomi, the Chippewa, or and the Ojibwa. I'm not certain of all, all the tribes, but a lot of them came here. And they, of course, lived in this area prior to the French of, French's arrival, but they lived nearby the mission to some degree for a sort of protection from their uh, other nations that were their enemies. In particular, the Iroquois did not get along well with many of the, the Huron tribes. So there was, in fact, a relatively large settlement of Native Americans here right near the mission at the time that Marquette was serving here. Marquette learned actually to speak, I think, oh, three or four, maybe more of the Native American languages, which is why he became such a valuable asset to the Jesuits in making contact with the American peoples here at the early colonial period. He studied for several years to actually master some of the native languages and get quite proficient in a couple of them. So one of the final things I'd like to share with you here at the Father Marquette Memorial Park is this beautiful marble statue depicting Father Marquette. Now again, we're not sure exactly what Father Marquette looks like, but this is a good representation of what we believe he looked like. Now it's about a three-quarter scale statue, but it is solid marble. I'm not sure who the sculptor was, but it's a beautiful work of art, and it's a beautiful tribute to the man that contributed so much to the history here in Michigan. So I'd like to thank you for joining us here on the shores of the Straits of Mackinac in St. Ignace, Michigan at the Father Marquette Memorial Park. I hope you've enjoyed this short episode. We hope that you'll pick subscribe and join us if you haven't already and come along for the ride across the United States. If you have questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section below. I love hearing from all of you. I try to get back to everyone I can as soon as I possibly can. If you, have, if you would be so kind as to share this with your friends and family, we'd appreciate that. That really helps us out, helps make this channel grow. And as always, thank you for watching.